audience, but maybe you will not. Um, so that if anybody, so you've sort of got, uh, we've got a list of all the audience, why people will say no to the coin house meetings, why people will say yes to coin house meetings. So you sort of are, people don't want to record cast meetings for themselves, people in government for themselves, so there's a reason why perhaps you should let people come in and do it, that kind of thing, so we sort of get, um, get again. So I guess just my mind there. I think it increases the sort of awareness of it. <laughs> that was such a good point. <laughs> Sorry, I yeah, 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 noise. I got a drum crash. <laughs> Sections and agenda items, you can then 
after you've got an archive of everything that's been talked about, and you can go back and reference it, or you can go back, you know, you don't have to watch it live, you can go and find the bit that you just want to hear about. Uh, and it's just a really useful tool for accessing information. Yeah. I've noticed that I insert with the blog, and they have a situation where they, what they do is they will, they started to publish um, council press releases as they are, and then they provide separate sort of editorial uh, pieces of their own. Um, and what actually happened is people were realising that the council were changing the press releases later on on their own website mm -hmm. to say something different. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously there was a step of the trail then of the original press release, so actually if the council's been trying to do something like that, um, well, they're painting the yeah. black photos as well. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we're, we're, we're in Glamford Devon County Council and we're quite you know, a rural county. And um, I know that some of our councillors are quite old and maybe can't make it to a meeting, but then they can at least watch the meeting live. Um, and also the public who maybe wanted to come to the meeting can watch them. And I know that our press now, they all always want to our meetings. And, and it, as if they can then see it from the horse's mouth. <laughs> yeah. Can I make another point as well, which is sort of being provocative, that I think it's a good starter, but actually some of the real sort of transformation of power around this is about participation and engagement. So filming it is really a, a little bit like putting out press releases. It's one step, it's one improvement from that, but it's still broadcast. It's not, we're not getting anything back from that. So if we look to do it where it's there's a way that we have the conversation around the Broadcast, so you now have a back channel and start to uh, welcome inputs into some of our meetings. Now, clearly, in some, you know, if it's a cabinet meeting, for example, that might not be appropriate, but if it's a smaller meeting where, you know, half a dozen residents have turned up, but in that area there are 6,000 people who live who might want to engage online for half an hour, they might want to drop into the conversation, see what's being said, offer an opinion, push a question. Actually, that's been quite interesting. I don't necessarily think it's a, a negative, though. The, the, no, I think it's the, possible. Well, that is, it's about the way you do it, isn't it? So, 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 but partly because, obviously, they did say, this is the official feed, we're telling you, you we're just telling you what's going on, then that's, that's obviously quite passive. I think yeah. that's still better than, that's still better than, I mean, as long as it's not that, it's something else, but um, uh, getting, uh, Getting access, I mean, particularly for the archival thing, I think is really, it's really, really important. But also, um, hyperlocal, giving hyperlocal um, bloggers a tool and a reason to exist, and people coming to their site, it's quite useful. It, it's quite useful too. It's only broadcast if it's sort of like, okay, it's broadcast. I think if it's that traditional one where we're doing a webcast, you can't download this webcast, you can't edit this webcast, you can't do anything with it. We can only view it on our council website. That, then that's broadcast. If it's a question of here's something that you can download, you can edit, you can you know choose excerpts from, or you can come to our own our own council and use you know your phone or zip camera or whatever to do it. Then that's not broadcast. So, but so I don't think I wouldn't put it as, uh, even though it's it's not one to one engagement or that many to many sort of thing. It's I mean, I think with that you need to define your council meetings though. Yeah. Because yeah. your full council meeting. That's got to be broadcast because members of the public generally can't speak for full council unless they're really petitioning. So, you know, they start shouting from the gallery, so it's got to be broadcast. There's no two ways about it. Overview and scrutiny have got to be broadcast because unless you invite it, it, you know, you can't speak. So there's no other way. We just have a back channel and say, what do you think of the meeting? He's got a nice side of commentary. Yeah. You can do that and you can do you know, something around it, but you need to define a different side of council meeting. If you're talking, Full council, annual council, over your scrutiny committees, you can only be broadcast. Yeah. But yeah. when you get down to your democratic engagement, out in the wards and things like that, then you can film them and you can do different things with them because you can use cover it live and different things to get people engaged. Yeah. So I think it's a definition of filming council meetings. Is it council meetings or is it the wider council councillors meetings? Yeah. I think that's um, good okay. because. I, I think the scrutiny ones are, are really important to, to have an archive of as well. Yeah. And, that, and having that, people at the moment can wait up to a month for a minute to the meeting. Whereas if they got the archive, <coughs> you had a number of people sort of saying, well, they weren't at the meeting, but they could just go for the archive, the archive copy of it, and all of a sudden they've got a debating record of that particular debate on that particular issue. So that's far quicker than anything we've done before. Yeah, and actually, it's a tool for, if it's archived, it's a tool for the council to use it if they want to. 
Yeah, it's represented as absolutely. One thing I've got to say about archiving, it does pain me to say this, as you'll know, Philip. Uh, so much that City Council actually did it quite well. They <laughs> actually put the whole meeting up, the link to the agenda. Uh, when the meeting's up, said, well, this is this part of the agenda, so you can click on and you can pull back part of the PDF. When they do the minutes as well, they also link it back through so that you can actually see what was said about the agenda point and what was minuted. Um, it's recorded, it's in it, etc. Yeah, it it well. <laughs> They're using some out of the box yeah, public eye. Public eye, something like that. Yeah. Public eye Transparency, all things are fat. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
treating the, the physician seriously, rather than, you know, in terms of their job, they've got to do difficult decisions and so on. They need people on their side in order to do that, rather than it being a question of, well, look at me, I'm a counsellor. So I think if you know you're being watched, then you give it lots of behaviour stuff. I, I think so. I mean, I sort of try to always assume, when I get videos, there's a lot of conferences I speak at and things like that. And, and, um, and I sort of assume that every time that I speak, that at some point that will be a piece of, but something that will be held against me. And actually, that's good because it means that I generally, hopefully, I try to. Well, that's an acceptable fact. So yeah, that's 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 that's
not at the full council, but actually having had it at the full council, the argument for enabling that to happen uh, at local meetings is really important. The other one is holding <coughs> to account. Um, I, uh, I'd say holding the press to account, because I have been at um, a scrutiny meeting where the press were there, and I happened to be there, and I heard what was said, and how they then wrote it was absolutely not what had been said at the meeting. So it does enable the local authority to then hold to account the press and local people because they were doing them a disservice. It was not correct. So I think, you know, they're, they're, although it's uncomfortable and it's horrible being filmed for the first time, <laughs> actually, that there are some real positives. You get used to it. Yeah. 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 Is it something as well that could start to be expected? Because thinking that the, the, the younger generations that are growing up with the YouTube basically sort of you know, they're on the computer all the time. If with this sort of 10 years time or five years time when they become interested in this, or if we can encourage them to become interested, and the idea is I'll come to the meeting and give you a sheet of paper, it might not be accepted. They might start to expect this stuff. So it's 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 yeah, it. tackling it now and sort of thinking about the long term goals yeah. might be sort of a good for it. I think you make a really strong point there. I mean, I, I talk about we've got to let government in the way we did when it began. In the, 1830s, 1840s, very little has changed actually. Yeah. So we're, still, we're, we're living in the 21st century, aren't we? And we're in a period of rapid transition, a rapid change, and we haven't quite caught on to you know, what that should look like. We'd be right, I mean, people joining the workplace now, like someone started working for me, you know, never not known the internet. Um, you know, it's quite scary, no expectations around what they can do at work, how they interact with technology, use social technologies, completely different ways. Cool. We look like a very, very historical artifact, not a modern, dynamic organisation leading the place. So that could tell us a lot of the things we're talking about today. So. I'm just wondering, because this is all for council meetings, uh, how would these four and against change when you start talking about town hall meetings? So, or like, so say if you do a consultation event, like our leader does a leaders roadshow, uh, and then if we film those events, do the, it's a very different context. It's a public, more of a public forum for asking questions. So then I wonder if some of the events start to fade away, like it being boring or ugly or you know, inaccessible, and we could actually generate it from public feedback. That's why the government put it down to the more local meetings. Mm. Because if you get if you get a full council meeting film, if you see that, you go, oh, right, well, can we get a local meeting? Because people are more interested mm -hmm. in very local or like a planning meeting. When they know it's a planning application right next door to their house or whatever, then it gets then they're interested in that. So they know well I want I want that, but for this meeting here because I'm actually really interested in that. So it looks down I think actually. It won't take long, but for our, for our council we we currently webcast all our uh, you know our full council and our planning meetings and everything, but we only have a, a hand camera for town hall meetings and so the, the daughters are heavily in one side and maybe the other and maybe there's a better Higher demand for public meetings and we actually make our council meetings. But, I mean, it seems to me that there, there are two, that there's a radical difference between town hall meetings and council meetings. And council meeting is a format prescribed by law, and we're kind of, what we're doing is trying to make an old fashioned, legal, legally prescribed meeting a bit more accessible. Well, town hall meetings are not prescribed by law, so actually they could be designed from the ground up to be 21st century meetings. Yeah. So that, that, that's, that's how I would Yeah, I mean, you've got attention there because you're trying to put 21st century technology onto an 18th century yeah. sort of thing, aren't you? you know, the whole de democratic process is based in the 18th century, it's never built, yeah. but it's just to go on. So, you know, unless anything changes drastically, you know, which will take, it'll be a generational change, you're not going to get anywhere with it. I don't think it will be, because I think it'll happen quite quickly. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I think, I think, I think we're on the cusp of. You know, citizen demand for what this to change. It will be driven by expectation. People can see what they can do. Expectation around participation, transparency. That's great, very great. I, I think I agree with you. And I think the fact that some councils are willingly doing this and they're experimenting with it. Yeah, you know, they're not doing it perfectly. They need to sort out the metadata or the captioning. But at least you know, we'll, we'll show up that those that aren't, or those that are having people arrested on the bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and People move around. People can, you know, visit their relatives or you know, 
visit places on the web until have one. If they can do that, why can't they? I think there is a, a conflict of old and new because uh, a big example for us is we're currently looking at the option of having people being able to feed back to meetings and post questions without actually the, the procedure for our meeting is you have to submit your question in writing. Um, so you can't do that on the day by sending well, you know, technically writing and doing it in. But the councillors sort of have notice of that question there and then they're asked to either someone either read the question out or they can say, I just want to use that person in writing again. And it doesn't quite Work. Mm -hmm. it's alive, it's you can certainly prevent that, they put anxiety into budget, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone's just, uh, Taylor from Cambridge has tweeted that the arguments against forming the Cambridge City Council included discouraging public speakers from appearing and uh, giving planning appeals lots of material to pick at. Um, so those are the those are not. It's my opinion, not the first couple. Or better, so, so, uh, so by giving the appeals, by giving, uh, and, and, and that's a, actually a, a fair, the first point is, is not really a fair point because, you know, it's, like, it's a public thing and that's the whole point about you being in public. The, the planning appeals, um, so I would imagine their concern would be, for example, if there was a minor point of order that someone like Tesco has decided to use to, to appeal against the, you know, against it or something. In planning law, you, you very, very rarely get anything overturned because they built the wrong thing, the wrong shape, in the wrong place. Yeah. Everything is turned over because of some breakdown in procedure. Yeah. And, and some law wasn't, you know, a box yeah. wasn't ticked at the right time. Yeah. So that's matter from heaven, that. Yeah. But I think that goes back to Andy's point about certainly with planning committees where you know, there is a big legal consequence to the way meetings are conducted, you would want to train people quite carefully. Mm. Um, and I guess that's a, and, and it's probably best to start training them now because you're going to have people turning up with flip cameras, so, so let's, <laughs> yeah, the media let's get ready for that. All the residents are pretty well yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the media training for members needs to change from the just being the broadcast, don't be doing this with your arms, put them like that on your buckle, and yeah, the standards don't need to get away from that to actually think about what you're saying, have a little check sheet, say don't say this, don't say anything nasty about Jeremy once. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Okay. It, it needs to change quite drastically because the society we live in is changing quite drastically. Can I, can I go back? To, sorry. Can I go back to what Andy made about audio? I mean, it's ironic because I'm standing next to a video camera and I do lots of video stuff, and I wanted to talk about video at this session. But I actually think that we're too obsessed with video, um, and why can't we do audio? Because it's it's potentially cheaper, more low tech. You need less bandwidth to listen to it at the other end. But people don't. I mean, one of the things that I've been trying to live audio stream today, and I've eventually finally found a live audio app, but it doesn't work. <laughs> you know, and and I want to say there, there are loads of free apps out there to do live video streaming, but up until a few days ago, there wasn't a live audio app, and one that there is doesn't seem to work. So I, I just don't know why people put all their efforts into making live video when live audio should be a lot easier and ubiquitous, and you know, and it's also you know from the point of view of what you're broadcasting, hopefully it will be more user-friendly to people because they don't have to you know, turn up in their suit and tie and stop waving their arms around because nobody's going to see it anyway. In live audio, you can set that up, you can stream live audio in about five minutes. Because <coughs> uh, we tried to make the council, it's just that they didn't have any of it available for 72 hours. Who could open up the one port on the firewall? We took a thing into our laptop and we pumped it out through Winamp onto a service that cost us, it cost me £10 for three months. And would you give it, you know, enough people, enough bandwidth for enough people who actually want to listen to what we're broadcasting? But again, the council, you know, 72 hours, getting jumped through some hoops, get a Jack Russell to come in and juggle a little bit just to cheer <laughs> the guy up so he can sign a bit of paper to tell somebody two days to open the firewall. It's a really good point as well because we're not talking about a binary thing in here, we're not talking about nothing or video, you know, what we could, what, you know, there's live audio streaming. Now, live video streaming is, is way more expensive and way more difficult, and, uh, particularly to achieve consistently than, than, than live audio streaming. You know, but actually recording a video um, and then putting it as a, as a file somewhere, allowing people to come in for video and doing audio streaming, you know, even for some things, you know, doing a, your own official webcast or so on. These are all, all the stages on, the you know, on a continuum. It doesn't have to be We've got, you've got to do an official webcast or you don't do anything. It can be you know, um, uh, all sorts of stages in between and a mixture of those things too. Yeah. Can I ask you, Birmingham, did it get put on the big screen that's just outside the council house? 
it didn't know whether we'll do that for future ones. Um, it's yeah. worth the conversation, but initially I just wanted to make sure it wouldn't oh, fall yeah. over, you know, because yeah. it was the first one. I thought if it's up on the big screen, and then I think you'll find the rings. I think you'll find the rings. It's right about Santa Claus. It's going to be quite interesting, isn't it? I think you'll find the city centre retailers will be complaining about you clearing the streets. That's what it's worth thinking about, isn't it? Either is video or audio. Yeah. Do you want to hear a bit about video? Um, yeah, I haven't got very long now. But I just wanted to do a bit about um, um, live video as a gateway to social media because I was doing a training session with some local government people last week. And these are people I've been working with for some time now and slowly, slowly coaching them into taking notice of the show's social media and, you know, quite honestly, not getting very far in many respects because, you know, I find that. There are a lot of people out there, and particularly in big organisations, who quite like being able to hide behind the corporate um, brand and, and you know, maintain their anonymity. And the threat of social media is it sort of exposes them to the light. But the light suddenly went on in a few heads because I said, OK, well, what can we do? Said, oh, we quite like to learn how to edit videos. Said. So I did a video editing training session with them. Um, and all of a sudden, it was like that was, I call it the gateway drug to social media because... Not only did they, you know, get get the idea that this is how easy it is to make your own videos. We didn't realise how it was easy to make your own videos. But now that once you've made the video, they start to work out how you promote it. And of course, you know, a key part of the way you promote your own video is by using social media. So we then start to talk about, well, if you really want, you know, people to watch this, you embed it in a blog, um, tweet about it, put on your Facebook profile, all those sorts of things. So they then start to realise that these are the, these are the ways you get this this sort of stuff out there. Um, and I think the thing about video, despite what I just said about <laughs> us being obsessed with video, is that, you know, it is, most people watch TV, you know, <laughs> less and less these days, but most people watch TV, and it's not a big leap from watching TV to watching video online. And I think that could be the way that we get a lot of people who don't currently get social media um, to come into it. So that was my point, really. Well, could like, things like Cover It Live like, be, the, be, the, be the way in social media, so you've got a uh, video or an and, and yeah. Covered eye is how they get used to engagement, but so they can control <laughs> so they get someone to sort of put a first wrong and then you go, well, you can do some Twitter too, you get tweets in, isn't that? Yeah. Um, can I, do, I think it's really important because it's about what's on the video, not the quality. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and it's the message. Absolutely. So, uh, what, what I've done in a very small way, we've used, we've, I've bought a lot of flips and we've run joint training, so they've been open to both active citizens, local groups, and officers. And I, and that's, got, that's great in itself because it breaks down a lot of barriers to do them. And then um, the flips can, have been borrowed by, on an equal amount by local residents, but also from uh, uh, local officers who've wanted, who've, the flips are cheap and easy. Mm. And actually it's about them uh, getting the message out. And people have then used them, uh, developed, uh, local organisations develop their own blogs. We've used them to develop our own websites. Not on the city system, I would say, but showcasing uh, city city stuff. Um, and uh, they, the flip, certainly the flips were have uh, been hugely positive over the last twelve to eighteen months. Again, why you can't use a shit system? I know. I'm sort of like to know as far as I had some money. One thing coming from Derbyshire about broadband is about as fast as it's slowly dying towards us. Um, is, is video ever going to sort of take off in like rural areas where broadband speeds are really slow? And you know, like if I try and watch YouTube, I might as well go out and come back and I might have got the first minute or something. So it's how do we sort of cater for people that can't really? It could be, it could be a, a, a catalyst for getting broadband um, out there. If councils start going, I'm not actually, if councils start filming the council meetings and streaming it, then they realise I'm not there because she can't actually watch these sort of things. They've got decent broadband connections. Then the council go, hang on, we need decent fiber optic. Well, no. Two years in that, I won't say that council. Um, I, don't, I think that some people would use that as an excuse not to film yeah, it. Well, it's it's well, well, I, th I think that's right. I think that's right. I mean, it was it was why we did the Twicky thing, where right? did the live cricket broadcast. It was about making a point, and it was about, you know, that drew people who were not interested in broadband issues, but might be interested in cricket. Um, and then we could make some points about, about rural broadband. I have a solution for you, and talk to me afterwards. Um, but, you know, I think, again, it's about driving demand for these things. 
you know, I make a lot of points about upload, and I have to say the upload here is absolutely terrible. You know, we need upload speeds because we're all starting to create our own content. You know, and as you say, there's organisations now have a vested interest in people being able to see what they produce on the web. So all these things are things that are going to, you know, break the consensus on the fact that nobody wants fast broadband. Uh, it's interesting because I ran some sessions on youth participation, and uh, I worked with, I suppose, a few other more like 50 local authorities. And um, the last project that we did, um, it's basically an action learning set with three projects uh, underneath it. And then what I thought is, it was all about social media, youth participation. Instead of writing a book, which I did the first year, which took ages to edit, I thought, make a film. And uh, the films were okay, the subject youth participation. But the one that, actually the one I did, not just because I did it, but I thought, actually, get young people to do it. And that looked, you know, really engaging, to be honest with you. But the point that I was going to make, really, because obviously it's useful, and I agree with your point, you've got to make sure people are skilled up if you're going to use it effectively. Because editing, I mean, because I've never edited a film before, it was longer for me to edit that than it was for me to edit a book with 30 people contributing, so yeah. you've got to make sure people have got the skills. No, I think that's right, and that, that's a key part of what I do. And the other thing is, you say, it's not the quality of the video that, that is the, I mean, I produce a lot of videos, I, I work with people so they can produce their own videos, and people sometimes look at them and say, well, that's not pretty good. I said, yeah, but you should have seen where they were. And I, and, you know, I've just helped them do this, you know, and the important thing is what's in the video, rather yeah. than how the video looks. So, you know, I've, I've been, I help people make videos and they show them on a big screen at an event and you get all the local kids cheering and whooping when they see themselves on it and stuff like this. Yeah. You know, and it doesn't have to be slick, a slick production. It's actually better when it isn't. Yes. Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't know. Alfred, I think it does have, you do have to put work, it's the same as anything, because if it just looks it's a bit acorn, yeah. people it's are going to make acorn and tea. It looks too much like that, people are going to not want to. But, it, but if you look, I, I think it depends. Um, if you look at the most popular videos on YouTube, yeah. most of those, are, you know, they're just quick, immediate things. You know, there's the lol cats and there's the, you know, people falling off skateboards and all that sort of stuff. You know, they're not strictly produced videos. It's what's um, in them that attracts people. I'm sorry, I meant the editing, the process of making it look. A little bit joined Yeah, sometimes it sometimes can make you a bit seasick if the camera waves around. Yeah. You know, <laughs> no, we've we've seen my videos. <laughs> when, when during the gritting and icing uh, the snow boot, yeah. we gave one of our gritters uh, a flip cam and sent him off. To, like, and he went out on his own and just recorded eight hours of him doing it through the night. Um, and then he edited himself, which was basically just cut out all the bits he didn't think were funny. <laughs> and we put it on the web and it was amazing. Yeah. People loved it. They actually, before we put the video on, it was like, oh, gosh, you got crap at gritting, you don't grit my nose. We put that video up and it was like, oh, your grit guys are brilliant. You should be there, they're really yeah. nice guys. Well, really should grit it's all you can Yeah. Well, it was a very good movie. He was a funny <laughs> bloke, which made it. But it's the implicit messages, isn't it? It puts a bit of soul into what yeah. local authority offices Absolutely. do. Because, yeah. it, you know, there's this. Barrier that it actually you're not hu there's no human. Yeah, that's it. And forget that offices are actually but, uh, human beings. Using that well. video as an example, it was the flip cam and it was edited on a flip software, which I yeah. think is really sort of basic. Mm -hmm. um, and the person that actually edited it sort of struggles using computers full stop. So, you know, it, I think the technology is beginning to exist that can facilitate anybody <coughs> stuff that actually you know, sends a message. Can I yeah. um, remind people we're uh, over time? Don't want any lunch. <laughs> I'm gonna. What I'll do with all these, I'll put on. Um, the calls, um, there's a little thing where you can put falling at targets and link them together. And I'll put that on there and I'll send a link out and we can sort of keep adding to it and contribute to it. Like other stuff. And then I'll have a last little resource. So thanks for all that. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.